I'm living out in LA But you don't wanna be high like me Never really know why like Guys, I really like putting cinnamon in my oatmeal, but sometimes my hand's a little too heavy because look what happened. Dang it. That's a lot of cinnamon. I just turned my oatmeal into the cinnamon challenge. Breakfast so much harder than it needs to be today. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Good morning, guys. What is up, though? I'm excited to start today off, guys. Prepping my workout stuff because right after the tax guy, I literally am meeting Aaron at the gym and we're gonna have such a good hard arm workout day. So I'm gonna get this stuff ready and I'll see you guys in a second. So I was awakened very abruptly this morning because I I, I could hear like little like Hi, Rico, and then all of a sudden I hear Morning, Rico's gone. And I'm like what? And I'm like huh? I'm like, huh? <coughs> I'm like, huh? I wake up. I mean, what, what are you talking about? She's like, the door, was, the back gate was open and I didn't see the back gate open and I was like, oh, Kimmy, talk slow. The back gate was open and she's like, the back gate was open, I think Riku's gone. And so I was like, oh gosh, and I'm like half asleep so I put my shoes on and then I run outside and Kimmy's like about to get in her car and all of a sudden Riku comes prancing out in the front yard. And I'm like, Riku! So yeah, Kimmy thought she lost Riku for like, I don't know, probably 10, 20 minutes, and then she woke me up really early because she was just about to go to work, but it's okay, he's all safe, he's right here, but it was pretty funny. I was like, oh, well, that's a good alarm. That's a good alarm clock. Got on my tax guy's office. That was really easy. I'm excited for next year. We're all excited for next year. That was way better. Oh, look who's calling me. Aaron Burris. Hello? How far are you from the gym? Um, probably like t seven, eight, ten minutes. Why? Okay, no, I'm just at the house. I just got ready for the gym. Uh, you're gonna be there like two thirty. Okay. What time is it? Yeah, two thirty yeah, is fine. So. Okay, okay, bye. Guys, this is what is called surprise leg day. Aaron's doing what I normally do as a warm up. That's how big his legs are. <laughs> but we're gonna do leg day today, and I didn't know the lunches right now. Come on, Aaron, I believe. I believe. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're still doing like the. I think we're gonna end up playing basketball here soon. <sighs> so Roy, I don't know if you can see. Roy just texted me right now, and he's actually not gonna be home this Thursday. Um, he has some like family stuff to take care of, so he's gonna be home in March, so like the seventh. So you're not gonna see him in the vlogs for like way two more weeks. So I'm gonna start. You're gonna see a lot more of Aaron because we're working out with Aaron a lot more. Ooh. Ooh, and his gym gave me like free two weeks free because they love me. So thanks, gym, You're the best. Now we're gonna play some basketball with Alex and everyone. So, all right, we just finished playing. Bye, Aaron. See you tomorrow. I'm gonna walk outside. I know. But, okay. All right, bye, Alex. Hey, almost had it. We're depressed as we lost. Hey guys, I'm home now. I'm gonna make an insanely simple chicken baked kind of recipe that everyone should know. All you're really gonna need is some chicken thighs. Costco. Chicken thighs and le oh, legs, these are legs. So you're just gonna mix all that in a bowl, throw some olive oil, maybe smash some garlic, salt, pepper. I like to add a little bit of honey. But uh, Kimmy brought this, this seasoning home that's from like a really healthy food store so it's like all natural crap like what's in this let's see it's just it's really simple it's just paprika garlic onion basil and more herbs seasoning <laughs> all right guys this is what my chicken looks like wow chicken yummy okay so that's a very simple recipe like if you know the mechanics of chicken which is you gotta bake it at 400 degrees for about 30 minutes and then drop it down to 350 for about 30 minutes and just make sure you look at it because your every oven is different so once you learn the mechanics of chicken you can basically marinate it with anything you think is healthy like if you want to put a little bit of lemon honey um garlic and and like 
dried oh, okay dried sunflowers or dried tomatoes that's a little different but you can basically play around with all the ingredients like I could have thrown almost everything in here and it would have tasted great but I think a lot of cooking is just knowing the base mechanic like kind of in math where you f first learn like the rules like PEMDAS once you learn that rule then you can do oh my gosh I just realized I used the math metaphor I hate math and I just Realized that I just used an analogy to understand math. Anyways, I'm saying once you understand that chicken can be cooked this way, you can basically do almost anything to this. Like you could add lemons to this, you can do a lot of things as long as you know that if you cook the chicken for this X amount of time in the oven, it's gonna turn out good. So, yeah, that's one way to do it. I know other ways to do it, like braising chicken, grilling chicken. But for something quick, healthy, and I'm really busy right now, so that took me about 10 minutes to do. I put honey, salt, um, pepper and that seasoning Kimmy had garlic um, and that's about it <sighs> Okay, here's a quick and easy tip like if you don't if you're like me and you don't like like that That weird hard part of the asparagus at the bottom my grandma taught me this trick All you do is grab like a ton of asparagus like let's pretend you bought a whole bunch of them Usually it comes usually it comes with this like rubber band And you can just double knot the rubber band around the bottom base of the asparagus so let's, if you're like, if you don't wanna, if you don't have a rubber band, just do what I do. If you have small hands, you might have to find a rubber band, but if you hold really tight, like to the bottom, as hard as you can, and look at how simple, you just go like this, and it will break. The tender part will break from the chewy part by itself. So it kind of separates itself without, look, I'm barely doing anything, and it just snaps, right? So now when you cook asparagus, you'll have these perfectly, like, easy to eat pieces that aren't chewy and weird. So I just do this for a lot of my asparagus. And yeah, it's gonna seem like you're wasting a lot, but this is the annoying part and the non-chewy part. I mean, the non like crunchy, nice part. So I just do that, do that, do that. Thanks, Grandma. Thanks, Grandma. Thanks, Grandma. Do that, do that. And you can actually use these, like you can boil these and make like an asparagus soup out of it by blending it. But at the end, all of your asparagus should look kind of like that. And yeah, I like to season that with like salt, pepper, olive oil in the pan, done. You see the easiest broccoli recipe in the world and it's tasty kind of if you like broccoli like me. Really easy. All right guys, super easy garlic, I mean, sorry, super easy broccoli recipe, ready? All right, <clears throat> grab some olive oil, do about a tablespoon of olive oil, bam, right there. Ooh, yeah, that's good. Then minced garlic, you don't have to make it fresh. I just prefer freshly minced garlic. Some red pepper flakes right here. And just sprinkle a ton of those in there. Grab a glass. Just throw in like a fourth of a cup. So your mixture should look really beautiful like that. Garlic, olive oil, infused water. You wanna bring that to a boil so keep it on high. As you can see, the water kind of already mixed everything around for you, but it doesn't matter. You can mix it around yourself and just make sure the garlic and the pepper are all intertwined with the water. See the boils, rolling boil, it's going hard. You wanna take your broccoli right here, I got some broccoli portioned out right here. Make sure it's all clean and delicious, go ahead and drop it in there away from you. And then you wanna grab some more broccoli over here, drop it away from you. And then, very key part, to so have a lid, cover this whole thing and make sure it's like steaming up your broccoli with some garlic and, and all the olive oil and all that. Mwah, it's gonna taste so good. All right guys, so it has been about three minutes. My broccoli is way more colorful and green now. It has garlic and crushed red pepper and salt and olive oil infused in it now. Push forward and reach back, 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 push forward. And so what that's gonna do is just get everything all infused around it. But now you have this like perfectly steamed broccoli that has garlic and red pepper all around it and it's easy, delicious, and healthy. And that's what we're going for. I know you guys see me eat a lot of bad food, but I can eat really healthy also and I don't have a problem with it, but it's gonna be so great these next few months. I get, can't wait for you guys to just watch me and Roy like transform our bodies and just work really hard. It's gonna get hard. We're gonna be like, I want McDonald's. I might even do, if you guys think I should, like a DIY, how to kind of like cook and tips on cooking because I, I just realized now that there's not a lot of people that like really like to cook. I thought everyone did because I did, but yeah. Now I've reached the 30 minute point on my chicken right there. It looks beautiful. 
Riku's right here trying to get a little peek of my chicken. Anyways, if you have a baster, if you don't, it's fine. Just use like a spoon, but I'm just putting some of the juices on top of my chicken. If you're grabbing some of the juices, basting some of the juices back in. This is just like some olive oil, some chicken juices. This is where also you want to drop the temperature down to about 350, 340, depending on your oven. And I'm just like basting my chicken, getting all these yummy juices all over it right here. So now it has been 30 minutes and my chicken is ready to come out. Ooh, this chicken is coming out right now. Yummy. And uh, ow. Yeah, if you have one of these thermometers, just to be really safe, I like to use this with chicken only because chicken you can actually get really sick from. It's got a shower, time to eat. And watch my class movie for the night before class. Here I got some broccoli, I got some pasta, I got some chicken, chicken, chicken. I might get some more if I'm still hungry, but let's taste this chicken. First bite, here we go, first bite. Watch it just be completely raw. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Mmm, it's so good, it's still so juicy. Mmm, I like that marinade stuff in the honey. And the spices, sweet, spicy. Olive oily, mmm, mmm. Let's try the broccoli then. Mmm, that broccoli is really good too. Oh, I'm so excited. The only thing I probably have to cut out is that salt in the chicken and just use that, that seasoning and it will be completely healthy. And cut this out and some more broccoli and more asparagus here. Alright, mmm, gonna eat. Right, I just wanna show you what it looks like. See, it's juicy and moist and white, no red, and delicious. Oh my goodness. Go to class now, but usually this is the enforcer. I have to put my phone away. What do I have to do? Put your phone in the basket. See, there's a whole basket. We gotta disconnect and go to class. Hey guys! What's up? Just got home from acting class, and now I'm about to eat like a little snack before I start editing. I had an amazing class. We had a stage reading of Take Me Home, a Pulitzer Prize winning play, which means it won a great big writing award in the writing playwright world, which is it's just like the best award you could get for a play. But anyways, uh, I was just so happy to be watching a play in my class, and, and I was driving and I was thinking about <sighs> my comments and a lot of people that are really inspired recently by my vlogs um, and I just want to tell you guys to just keep going and keep facing your fears and, and I promise you you're gonna have a lot of fun with that um, every day I get out of class and I'm so happy that I'm not gonna like if I wasn't in class right now in acting class I'd really be regretting it a lot if I wasn't in dance class, I think if I was still at school right now, I would be really, I wouldn't be vlogging and I would just be really wishing I could be in acting class or in dance class. So I'm really happy that I'm in these classes right now and I get to see amazing pieces of work like that. And I'm glad I get to share my emotions with you guys and you guys are a part of my diary. So thank you guys for being here every single day and watching my vlogs every single day. It's gonna be such a great ride. Thank you guys, have a great night, peace.